Hello everybody, this is you know, Cat82543 welcoming you back to Let's Play Okami. And in this part, we're gonna fight Ume. Oh crap, I hate that attack. Stay away from the poop bomb. Yeah, haha, ha, Ume. You died easily. And I actually didn't do terribly on time for some and for some reason I actually got a somewhat decent score on time. I'm amazed. I didn't totally fail at time. And we get the other glitchy orb. Yay! We've earned the Justice Award from Kaden or Eugene. Okay, man. That's it. Make sure you feed him if you have not, but other than that... There's nothing really else to do here. I think you can fish with Kokari still. I think. I'm not totally sure. Yeah, go. Actually, no, I don't want to go that way. I want to go the other way out of here. Let's head up here. And we're going to take this path to Shinshu Field. Just because we've never been down here before. It's really just a long winding path that goes over the guardian sapling area. And up here we can find Kushi. You can't dig up that clover yet, unfortunately. But for coming out to see her, we can get a holy bone out. Which is a full heal. I mean, all of them are full heals at this point, but... That one is actually just described as a full heal. There's not much to do here. I'm gonna check back in with the dojo just to make just to get any extra techniques. There's nothing to do with Water Spout, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, I think there might be a couple things to do with Water Spout in this area. This guy has Spir Spirit Storm, which I guess I'll learn. Which is basically our upgraded combo for the Rosary, which I could have gotten any time after getting that first Rosary and I got a Forest. I just haven't been back here since. So I just figure we might as well pick it up now, even though I'm not using one. So I'm going to have to switch my weapons, just for this. It's nice and lets you do it easily. So yeah, I switched my weapons out, so I'm using the Rosary again with the... Just for this training, not in general. It's a six combo. It's a six-hit combo for the Rosary. 
And we get the technique scroll, which is just going to sit in on the thing. Yay, I did it. That's all. That's all you have to do. No, I'm leaving. Sorry, Dojo Man. I just figured we should probably pick up the rosary technique. The combo for the rosary as well. Just so, if for rosary, just because it was convenient to come by and pick it up. It's not going to be useful in the immediate future, but we're going to be using more rosaries later on. So, it does have a purpose. And if I had a lot more yen, I could get the Golden Fury thing, but I'm, I don't. So, I'm not. Time to switch back. Switch the weapons back, so that... I, just because I just wanted to do that for the sake of getting it. It can be daytime, I don't care that much. And let's head to Kamiki. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do this thing and thing here. Right now, might as well. I figure, might while well, we're in Shinshu Field, might as well do some of the side stuff. Side stuff's always nice. I believe you can water spout next to the end of. I thought you could water spout there. I guess I was wrong. I thought. Oh no, that's probably not until. Yeah. Never mind. I'm gonna see if we can at least race Ida, because you can do that at some point. And there's a lot I still have to see whether we can do or can't. What we can do or can't do, or whatever. There's Ida. Come back here, Ida. No, don't. Okay, we can race Ida. Let's do this then. Crap. The key is to ta try to tackle him. It's really hard actually to get the tackles right though. When you're when you dash, you go at the same speed as him, so just be aware of that. There, got him. Finally. And you get praise. And I think that's the only race we can do right now. I'm just getting started on the side stuff here. That doesn't give you a stray bead, but it gives you something that gives you a stray bead later. Well, it's one of the things you can do to get that stray bead. It's going to be a while before we can actually finish those races, though. But. We also have the Nameless Man doing stuff. <laughs> and we have the first pot, the Azure Neck. Basically the thing with these, the pots, is you take them to ver the various little statues scattered across the field. There's five of you, them. If you see one of these little statues, take the pot to it, and you'll get a flower, the statue will be happy, and we get some praise. Not much. I don't believe we can get another statue until the next day, which you have to do by making it night. I 
and then daytime again. So let's see if he's all ready to offer us the next pot. Otherwise, we'll just go to Kamiki. And we have the indigo neck. Let's take this to another one. I'm trying to remember where they all are now. Because I don't remember. I remember where three of them are. I think four, actually. Yeah, I remember where four of them are. There's one in this bombable, this crack that we bombed a while ago in here. There's one of them in here. So let's put this one down. Just check that one off the list. More praise. We're definitely not going to finish this for now. The last one will give you a stray bead, but we're definitely not going to get to that one. I just figured we might as well do some of them now. I just figured I'd bring it up now just because you can get some praise from it. And if you want all the praise you can as early as possible, like me, it's a good thing to just try to get some of those these pots done. I might also check back in with East Ida and about the races too. Because if he's willing to race again, that would be nice. You can only race him like twice, I think, before, for a while, before a while. He has finished the third piece, the Rust Neck. I'd be amazed if I could finish this now, but I'm almost certain that I can't. I'm feeling pretty certain that I can't. Yeah, that one's already happy. I think I'm going to take this one over here, to the one on the hill. And I really do forget where those are. It's a lily. Yay. 15 praise. So that was pretty good. So far I've gotten like 30 praise. Come back here, Ida. Okay, he's not willing to race. So Ida is not willing to race again. I'm going to test to see if I can get the fourth vase. I know I can't get the last one, but getting the fourth one would be really cool. Oh yeah, that's where the last one of them is. Okay, I remembered where the last location is and we can't get to it yet, so we're definitely not doing the last of the pot. We're not going to get the last pot, but I'm going to see if we can get the fourth pot, because there's five pots in total. And yeah, we're basically just putting these pots all around Chinchu Field, decorating up, making it all nice. Do you have any pots? No. Okay. So yeah, he's not going to make another pot for a little while. So yeah, we've already gotten all the pots we can, unfortunately. Uh, I wish I could get another pot for him. Whatever. Let's just head to Kamiki Village now, since we've exhausted all the things we can do in Chinchu Field. And there are only, there's only a little bit to do in Kamiki. There's not much, there's some stuff to do. We can finally get the last stray bead of Kamiki now. Well, we could get it since we finished the Tsuta Ruins, but I didn't have a reason to come back here. And I figured I'd wait until now, because we have a reason to come back here. Because Canine Tracker. But we have something to do with Vine. Oops, accidentally bumped into a body. Instead of following the canine tracker, let's use Vine. Yeah. More praise. Vine up here. And at the top of the waterfall is another stray bead. We've actually gotten quite a lot of these.
and we're very high up now. We're, this is one of the highest places in the village. Like we're actually a little bit higher. I think this is the highest point in the village, even higher than the observation deck. And next time we'll see we'll see where this canine tracker leads us in Kamiki Village. So I'll see you then.